Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another podcast. And I'm joined by my podcast co-host. What's up, people? Straight the Demon Wolf here. Whoa! All right, so what are we talking about today? We are going to be talking about video games. Yay! And I have a picture of Gunter from Adventure Time pulled up on the screen. Because <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> So, uh, just quick thing, I promise this one's gonna go up quicker than the other one, because I have an editing software that works now, so we're good. Hey! Yay! Alright, so what are, we, what are we starting with? How about our favorite game from our childhood? Well, for starters, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Dude, yes! I had that for my Wii. It was so good. It had the DS edition, and I played that day in and day out. <laughs> I have a, I have it for my Wii, I got it for my computer, and then I have the original LEGO Star Wars for my PlayStation 2. I used to play that so much, so good. Another game I used to play a lot as a kid was uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. That game was so good. I would, uh, I, I, it's the only Need for Speed game that I know of that has split screen in it. So I would always race against like my brother or my dad or my uncle. It was just, it was so good. There was one, there was one game, I actually played a bit of Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. like, when my stepdad let me use his console, and pretty much, I just did whatever. Anything I saw, I just murked. <laughs> I never played Assassin's Creed much. I mean, I still don't play much Assassin's Creed, really at all. It's just, <laughs> It kind of went down with Unity, and Origins was, uh, but... From what, I, from what I've seen, it was okay. Yeah, like, it was g fun to play, but the only thing I didn't really like was the customization, because the skins you get was, one, you e it was either impossible to get the god skins, like, you had to f literally fight all the gods of Egypt. Mm-hmm. But the one Assassin's Creed where the customization was really good had to be, uh, Odyssey. Mm, I heard pretty good stuff about that one. And you, everyone knows this is how oh, a real gamer is born when you had this in your childhood. Did you put something in the Discord chat? Yes, I did. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my god, royalty free jazz. Uh, <laughs> there's this thing I had um, as a kid. It was like a learning game thing. I, I forgot what it was called. It was, I, I don't remember even what it looked like. I'll just edit out that didgeridoo part. <laughs> I, had tried, I tried to look it up and it came up with didgeridoo. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a weird, like, it was a learning game kind of thing. So it had like different math games and stuff, and I had a Star Wars game for it for some reason. And I played freaking Blue's Clues the game. Dude, yes, Blue's Clues. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing says childhood like playing the games on different like TV channels websites. CartoonNetwork.com, NickJr.com. Dude, I remember playing the SpongeBob. Like, I don't know if it was... Was it Spongebob? Yeah, it was like the Spongebob kart racing game on Nick. <laughs> it was so good. I remember playing a game on uh, Cartoon Network's website called TKO. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. I was addicted to that. That game is pretty cool. Because I spammed on that. Like, I used to spam on Mortal Kombat. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Button matching. <laughs> button mash intensifies, and that's how I lost most of my keys on my first computer. <laughs> we also know, like, when you were, like, in elementary school, the biggest website you try to sneak on is either Hootamath or Yeppy. Dude, I remember, uh, the, the website I'd always play games on after I, either after I finished work or I would sneak on it is Funbrain. Oh my god. What? I just looked up yeppy.com to see if it still existed. Does it? It does, and they <laughs> and there was one game I played called Adam and Eve, and they have Adam and Eve 7? Oh, what? No. Oh no, I'm, you've gotten I'm, older. <laughs> I feel all, old. We're all older now, Jose. 
<laughs> no. no! My child! I... It was a dark day for our school when they blocked cool math games. Uh, yeah, I I nearly broke down and cried. It was sad. I tried... Somebody told me, it was just like, Hey man, did you hear they blocked cool math games? I was like, what? This can't be true. And then I tried to play Bloons Tower Defense 3. And the website was blocked! Oh! I got so sad. I nearly cried in the middle of my music production class. R.I.P. Cool Math. No. <laughs> it was upsetting. It hurt. It hurt so badly. I know I don't understand, though. Hmm. When I usually play some games on the Chromebook, mm -hmm. they leave games that involve shooting zombies, and there is blood in them, and they just leave them unblocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, they have they have all of these other games that are either, like, a little bit violent for school, or borderline illegal, with, like, copyright stuff. They leave yeah. them unblocked, but, like, cool math is a no. Oh god, they have Wolf Simulator on Yeppy. Oh no, <laughs> please no. Uh, uh, I I'm tempted to play it, but at the same time, I don't wanna, I don't wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of another word. Yeah, die, die fits. Freeway Fury, yes. Yes. Do you remember? Have you ever played a stick dude killing arena? I have. Dude, that game was amazing. There was a certain level I couldn't make it past, but I tried anyways. What was your first console that you got? My first console, yeah. probably, probably, uh, probably my PlayStation Two. Well, it's my dad's, but. My first console that I ever owned had to be my Xbox One, and I still have it today, and I still play on it, because I only got it, like, a few years ago. Hmm. I don't play, uh, console really anymore, because I have, you know, my computer, so I don't really need it. There was one game that I played on that religiously, like, I play a lot of games on my xbox that i play religiously when i get bored of my old ones but the first game i ever really played had to be call of duty infinite warfare mm. but people say it was fun yeah i mean it was okay it's not my favorite call of duty at all my favorite call of duty is for sure world at war what was your very first m-rated game that you've ever played m-rated um i think it had to be gta Hmm. I started off soft. My first M-rated game was Halo 3. Is it, is it Call of Duty an M-rated game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, then uh, Infinite Warfare was my first M-rated. Hmm. What's your favorite type of video game, like, between first-person shooters, open world? Third-person hack and slash. I'm more of a... I like first-person, and I like open world. Hmm. Open world games are pretty cool. Yeah, that's why I mostly like Destiny 2, because it has both a PvP and it's open world. <laughs> Plus out have a freaking bow and swords. How can <laughs> I not? I either do um, the third person hack and slashes or first person shooters. Just really anything with a lot of gore in it. Like, I don't know why. Anytime there's like an open world RPG type game with a bit of PvP, if they involve bows or swords, you, uh, my internal instinct is to be as assassin as possible. <laughs> like, like katanas, bows, throwing knives, etc. I'm guessing you play Warframe then. I don't play it as much anymore because it just got kind of tedious on mm -hmm. certain things. Like the new thing that they have, the dry dock. Mm -hmm. Where you can pretty much fly around your own ship, go in your arc wing in space, and do whatever the hell you want. Like, I love that concept, and that's what I wanted, like, from the get-go. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you have to go around and get materials. Like, getting the materials isn't the hard part. Like, farm materials does take forever, but when... When the materials are on one another planet and you don't have that unlocked so you try going to that planet but then you have to go through multiple different missions just to get to that one planet mm -hmm. eventually i just kind of uninstalled in and just took some time away from it i do go back every now and again but overall like but there is 
one quick and easy modern invention to bypass all that. Microtransactions. <laughs> you can pay for it. Instead of playing the game, you can pay to reach level 100 and then people wonder why you suck. That is actually what I do for some of it. Like, I bought the... What was the main currency in it? Platinum? Yeah. Yeah, I bought platinum for the color palette, weapons, etc. Mm -hmm. I think I didn't even bother. Yeah, I think for like cosmetic things, like different colors and stuff, it's completely fine. But if you're gonna put them in the game, like if you're gonna put like certain guns and stuff behind a paywall, cough cough, certain Call of Duties, cough cough. It's not that's not okay. Like putting certain features or game modes or guns or weapons or whatever stronger things stronger armor better whatever to give you like some sort of edge if you're gonna lock that behind a paywall that's not okay at all it really isn't because like um the new modern warfare um the survival mode was a, a ps4 exclusive which that's completely unrelated to microtransactions now that i say that but it's still stupid yeah that there's like console exclusive modes, which is shouldn't be a thing. I honestly don't get it. There's a thing that I heard about. I think it's for the PlayStation 5. I don't know. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. But um It's like it's a Siri type thing. Where you can like ask uh you can like ask your console like, hey, how do I beat this boss? And it'll give like a list of different suggestions and it'll say something percent of players bought this item which is pretty much in a way i feel like i think it's like promoting buying stuff and people can like that scares me because game developers can really use that to their advantage where they can just put in like a sudden stupid high difficulty spike which influences people to go in and buy this thing which is, it's really just not okay. really isn't. There's one other thing that I don't like about call the new Modern Warfare. Okay. A battle pass. Mm. Like, don't get, don't get me wrong. The battle pass is okay. It's a, it's a cool concept. And they actually give people without money, like, some slack. You know, they add, like, some free items in there that you could get. Things are common, some of the things are rare. And the COD points I actually like. Like, I think it's the only Call of Duty where you could actually get COD points for free. Oh, that's neat. But at the same time, the new operators, like Ghost, for example, instead of making him a battle pass... Instead, give him, like, make him, like, a tough challenge to do, like... Yeah, give him, like, different, kind of like, like, a series of challenges you have to complete in order to unlock him. Yeah, like, get 50 kills crou crouching, even though it's pretty easy. Yeah. Or, like, with Kruger, get, like, pretty much merc 50 people. Mm-hmm. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it, like, as easy as getting 50 kills or something like that. I'd make it a bit more challenging, like, have it, like... Yeah, I meant, when I meant Merc, I meant, like, the final blow, because they have a thing oh. where you and from behind, you do an animation. Oh, that's cool. Where it, like, you played Titanfall 2 before, right? Mm-hmm. You know, the executions? Yeah, it's pretty much like an execution. Hmm. And you know, once it happens, you're pretty much screwed unless your okay, teammate comes like, up for your. It's like the uh, it's like the assassinations in Reach. Yeah. Okay. I was I was thinking like you can get a, like a different amount of challenges, like get a certain amount of headshots with a certain gun, and also a certain amount of kills, and stay alive for a certain period of time. Yeah, like, like stuff like that, like different, like multiple challenges for one thing. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, that sounds like a lot better. That's what they actually do to get like certain variants of weapons now. And I'm trying to work on one, but I'm trying to uh, level up my gun so I could actually get some of them done. I like I like that there's different weapon variations in some games, but I kind of miss the like the good old days where it's just you just unlock different attachments. There's 
one thing in Call of Duty that I wish they would add, people might hate me for this though. Yes, we have the crossbow. Okay. But, bring back the compound bow, or just a bow in general. Mm. No more crossbows, give us a bow. I don't care what slot you put it in, just give me a bow. Yeah. I need it. Or we can, you could do like, um, I don't know how this would work, but you can somehow like set it up with different attachments to make it into a bow. Like, I, I don't know how you would do that. Like, instead of a crossbow, just like a bow with a trigger. I think there actually is a bow with a trigger. Let me look at it really quick. I think you can get like a trigger or something like that for a compound bow. Well, this is actually cool. Hmm. So, there's an attachment that you could put on your bow. Okay. And it's mostly for compounds. Mm -hmm. I think pretty much when you I'm pull it back, I'm recording. it's like a gun handle. I guess it has a trigger to it. Oh, cool. So, I'm not sure if you heard, but there is a new game that's coming out that I'm actually excited for. Okay. And let me see if it's the right name. Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood for PS4. That sounds interesting. Trailer is amazing. And pretty much from my note, it's a RPG type thing. But I think it's mostly story mode. Hmm. From what I've seen. I need to look into that game then. That seems pretty cool. It's been out on YouTube for a while. So <laughs> if you can, take the chance and look at it. It's amazing. You know what game I'm ridiculously hyped for? Doom Eternal. Yes. Dude, that's gonna be so good! Oh, it's gonna be so good. Doom Guy walks... <laughs> what would you do if Doom Guy just walked into a McDonald's? <laughs> He's sitting across from Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to make that. Just take the Master Chief and McDonald's meme and have, like, Doom Guy poking up from the booth behind him. That's gonna be beautiful. No, take it. <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight, though? Doom Guy or Master Chief? I think Master Chief would win. I'd say my money's on Doom Guy because he's been through like literal hell. I think in that fight, it depends on what weapons they have. Oh. Like, if they have their game's shotguns, like, first of all, it depends on which Halo shotgun. And which Doom shotgun? Because if it's like the Halo 3 shotgun with the super shotgun, it's Doom Guy. Easy. Obviously, we're excluding the power weapons and the alien weapons. If it's just, you know, the normal setup for all of them, I think as soon as Master Chief pulls out the CE Magnum, he's done. <laughs> like, Doom Guy is done. That's like his last resort is the CE Magnum. Too much. That would be beautiful. Like, imagine that. Imagine that. I think, um, Death Battle did a video on that. Probably. Yeah, they did. I remember now. They did. I like Death Battle certain, uh, fights like, mm -hmm. uh, Charizard versus Agumon slash Greymon. Yeah, that was a pretty cool fight. Digimon. Uh, 100%. Mm. That's my childhood was pretty much, you know, like going toe to toe with each other, but either way, <laughs> did you? But the one thing that I had to that I got mad at had to be uh, Doctor Doom versus Darth Vader. Why's that? Because like Vader should have won instantly, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, that should be a very quick fight. There's no way that Doctor Doom's uh, metal can stop him f from using the force. Yeah. Like, there's no way. And even if that, like, there's no way Doctor Doom's metal could stop a lightsaber. Exactly. One of my favorite ones had to be Deathstroke versus Deadpool. That one was good. That was pretty funny. I like, uh, I like some of their more recent ones, like, um, the Red Ranger versus Leonardo. Wait, what? Wait, yeah. Red Ranger? Like, Power Ranger Red Ranger? Yeah. I need to look into that. I think the Red Ranger I need to one... watch them again. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. The one that I was really proud of was Voltron versus Megazord. Oh, that Vol one was that one was cool. Like, if they said that the Megazord won that fight, I would have unsubbed for that channel, threw my laptop out the window, 
and just go to my Voltron shrine. <laughs> I would have just stopped with the internet. <laughs> it's over, man. <laughs> the internet's done. It's over. <laughs> game over, man. Game over. That reference reminded me. Have you ever played any of the uh, Alien vs. Predator games? Oh, but I wanted to so badly. I like, haven't. when I first got my Xbox, the one game that I w hoped they had was Alien vs. Predator. Mm -hmm. I have that for my computer. And when I went to GameStop, I saw that it was only for the 360. But they said there is a chance that it could do... That 360, some 360 games could go into the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it was not one of those games. You still have it? And I was upset. Uh, no, I sold it. Aww, because I was going to say, like, it. they could have fixed that. It might be backwards compatible now. Maybe. I'll take a look into it. But I want there to be a brand new Alien vs. Predator game. Mm -hmm. I guess we're talking about... I guess we could talk about now, like, uh video game concept ideas you could edit this part out by the way if you want no i'm keeping this concept ideas is a good one this is what my concept of alien vs predator i want okay so i want it to be like in the beginning you could choose one of the three factions alien predator or marine mm -hmm. like if when you choose one you could kind of customize a certain way in the beginning for the alien you could have like the ridge dome normal legs triple jointed legs different mm -hmm. tails back spines, etc. Okay. Predator, different masks, skin colors. It could be like a PvP type thing like aliens versus predators, marine versus predators, aliens versus marines. Okay. And okay. when you level up, you could get more skins, more attachments, more cosmetic things. Hmm. I like for like the, for some DLCs, you could have the neomorph Protomorph, Pred Alien. Oh god, no. No, that's too powerful. <laughs> Pred Alien. It's too powerful, oh no. It's like a. Maybe like a, uh, like a Dead by Daylight type thing with Alien and Predator. Or like, just add Predator into Dead by Daylight. Pretty much doing that. That would be but cool. Not, but it's not in Dead by Daylight, they're actually making a new Predator game that's like Dead by Daylight. Ooh. That'd be cool. I, yeah. Thing is, with Dead by Daylight concepts, like, have you ever played the game called Evolve? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like that type of concept. It's a hide and seek, but this, but the seekers slash hiders, I don't know which is which, but the survivors, I should say, are all armed. Okay. And pretty much as the beast. You could pre you're pretty much at an advantage slash disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a 50-50 mix. Yeah, I like I like that idea. Like, um, we basically have that kind of thing where like it's a hide and seek type ga type game where it's like a squad of three marines and then one predator or one alien, and like the the advantages of the predator or alien is all their attacks kill in one hit but they have significantly less health but they can that's respawn like it's like, that's like infected with extra steps mm -hmm. yeah it's i like that concept too but at the same time like i kind of want to break from hide and seek based games and more yeah. just you could just be an alien and do whatever you want like hence the open world feature like yeah, you could like have a, like a, npcs etc yeah, like an open world kind of... I don't want to say survival horror, because that's basically what Alien Isolation was. But like like an open world kind of Alien vs. Predator game. Where like, yeah. well, as, as open world as you can get with like just going around a spaceship or on different planets. Yeah, like one of my things was some of the maps could be abandoned spaceships, uh, different planets, Earth for... It could even be on Earth. Mm. And, like, the neural hub could be, for the aliens, could be the uh, alien hive, the predators, the mothership, marines, a marine base. 
I don't know why this popped into my head, but all I imagine is the green army guys from Toy Story having Vietnam flashbacks. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, they're in the Lincoln Logs, man. <laughs> they're in the toy chests. Here comes Andy's dog. <laughs> Buster now. He still has... <laughs> Sarge still hasn't come out of there. <laughs> We're still waiting on Sarge. It's been it's been two hours. It's been three years, man. We're still waiting on Sarge. I love how we were talking about uh, video games. Now we're talking about just weird Toy Story stuff. Toy Story, the video game. Yeah, that existed. I know. It was pretty cool. I could never get past the RC level. Yeah, this is the thing me. with uh, video video games from movies like if it's like take the lego games for example mm -hmm. besides star wars mm -hmm. like the lego incredibles 2 movie when it was going by the movie itself it kind of like i didn't really like how it was going the same store the same way while at the same time having you do your own thing. Mm. I don't know why that concept just kind of... I don't know. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and on video games. Like, Assassin's Creed, I didn't mind. But... Others, like... As long as I st stick to the actual concept of the game, I'll be fine. Which mm. is... Which I have, I'm scared about the Minecraft movie because I'm not sure what they're gonna, gonna do. Be real? From what I've heard. Oh no! Realistic Steve. No. <laughs> realistic, realistic Steve. I don't like oh, it. No. <laughs> I don't like it. That's gonna be worse than a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh. Like, when I first heard they were going to do a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, I just laughed. I did too. Like, they were... Like, Five Nights at Freddy's is one of those games that you don't need a movie. Yeah. Like, the story is already being presented to you. I think... I, I was thinking differently there. I was thinking, like, how are you going to make a hour or so long movie of somebody standing there flipping a switch and looking at cameras. <laughs> flipping a switch looking at cameras. Sees animatronic. No. <laughs> I mean, how are you gonna end the movie, like, with, with the jump scare of one of the cre of one of the characters? Like, come on, you're basically you're basically copying and pasting like an early 2000s YouTuber's video on there. Just without them shrieking their head off. Freaking end of the movie. Night Guard honks Freddy's... No pokes Freddy's nose, Freddy kills him. Very <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> now, if they, if they make a movie like that, about that, and they go into, like, the background and the lore of the game, that would be really interesting. At that, I would rather recommend. Yeah, I'd rather see that. Especially, like, didn't they say that if they were gonna do it, Scott Cawthon was gonna be the director of it? I don't remember. <laughs> I'd rather have the creator of the game direct the movie than yeah. have someone who barely has any knowledge of the game <laughs> direct the movie. That's why I'm scared of the Minecraft game, of the Minecraft movie. <laughs> like, they have someone who doesn't know what the hell Minecraft is, and they make a movie on either Terraria or Tetris. This summer, <laughs> coming to a theater near you, Minecraft, directed by Michael Bay. Oh no! It's just a, it's just a server full of creepers. It's just an hour of TNT explosions. And uh, just uh, create a new world, super flat floor TNT yeah. creatures, creepers. Can you like? Is that is it possible to do that? To just spawn in a super flat world with the floor already as TNT? I've done it. I want to do that. I want to either go into the world with it at, with the floor as TNT, or the less preferable option 
is just break all the floor and replace it with TNT myself. I really don't want to do that, though. This is the one thing I did, and it was so satisfying to just sit back and watch. It's a killer on the computer, though. Okay. So, when you're creating a new super flat world, have nothing at the bottom layer, and just at the top layer, just put sand. <laughs> I actually trolled my friend on there because I told him that, dude, I made a desert server <laughs> and we pyramids and all that. I was in creative and he was wondering why he was in survival. Yeah. And I said, and I said, okay, just uh, break that block right there. That will be your starting point. He breaks the block and I watch him fall into the pit of oblivion. Just. <laughs> <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> that is evil. Karma hit me hard because right. Like five minutes into it, my co my console crashed. Ah. But he was like, "Dude, what the hell was that for? <laughs> Why'd you do that? That's me." No. <laughs> Long live the king. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm still traumatized from that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I never cried during Lion King as a kid. I didn't either. Not as a kid. When I saw the remake in the theaters, because I was like completely obsessed with Lion King when I was a baby. I mean, I named my first cat Simba, but uh, I was completely obsessed with him. And when I heard they were remaking it, I was kind of iffy about it. But, uh, unpopular opinion, I liked it a lot. I have no doubt that I will enjoy it, but the one thing I heard from reviews is that when Disney started making uh, live-action remakes, the remakes kind of went their own way. Mm. Stuck to the same story, but they ha had their own little spin on it. Yeah. Like and Aladdin and all that, but with, from what I heard from Lion King, they pretty much said... It's the exact same movie. No spin on anything. Yeah. No change in lines. Just that's, the same exact thing. That's pretty much what I got from it. It's pretty much like a shot for shot redo. Just in live action and with obviously different actors. Except for a few. Uh, James Earl Jones still voices Mufasa. And I don't know who else does something. Boy Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. Darth Lion. <laughs> He is Big Lion. <laughs> Mufasa is Big Lion. He's so powerful with his shadow arm. <laughs> He's so powerful. <laughs> He's so powerful he <laughs> roared and the rain came back. <laughs> He's, so He's so powerful. He he cast the force. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. What? You remember how we were talking about Doom Eternal? Yeah. Someone photoshopped Doom Guy in the scene where Anakin slaughtered the children. Oh no! <laughs> they just photoshopped him reloading the shotgun. Oh no! <laughs> Reload shotgun with murderous intent. Oh no! Doom Guy, why? Doom Guy, no! <laughs> no not the children. They're already orphans. Don't make this worse. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd probably make it better for them, but you know. Anakin slaughters children with lightsaber. <laughs> Me as a kid. Yes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Do more. <laughs> Just ignite. <Either. laughs> ignites lightsaber. This is gonna be a great set. That's the next scene. Of course, Star Wars wouldn't show that. And then you feel so robbed because you're like, of course Star Wars wouldn't show that and be that graphic and violent. But then like a few scenes later, Anakin's burning. Anakin is burning. His limbs are cut off. Everything is just on fire. It's basically a visual representation of middle school. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to high school. <laughs> high school is when he like... No, middle school is the start of the fight, high school is the end of the fight, where it's just fire and burning and everything's on fire and your limbs are gone. And then your boss comes in and he's like, you still coming to work tomorrow, right? No. I'm a piece of toast that you put over a fireplace. No, 
I'm not coming to work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm the product of a bad idea, no. <laughs> the product of a bad idea that involves fire. I told my little brother, since me and him have different dads, I told him I was the original, you're the third party version that sucked. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> That's messed up. I know. He's that bad. one. He's that one triple changing Megatron with that dude in his bottle of Guinness. No, don't bring that up. <laughs> Spaghetti Tron. <laughs> Spaghetti Tron. Yeah. You try to transform him, and it's like going through a pile of spaghetti. Spaghetti Tron with Spaghetti RC. No, don't bring up Spaghetti RC. That one was worse. Was oh, so I have a question for you, really quick. I might have an answer. Um, are you gonna re-stream uh Fall of Cybertron? Honestly, maybe I might redo that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that on a live stream or like record, like redo the series in recorded form. If that makes sense. I'm just curious, do people still play it, like, the PvP? I don't think so, no. Uh. I've never tried the feet. I've never tried the multiplayer. Hopefully they do a remaster version. That would be nice. Because some of the... Some, but not all, the modern Transformers games kind of suck. Like, the, uh. the best modern Transformers game is Devastation, and that game is amazing. I've gone through that game more times than I've gone through Doom 2016, and that's a lot. I feel like if they do a remastered version, they're gonna put Trypticon as a DLC. <laughs> you get to play as Trypticon? <laughs> you get to play as Trypticon and go into PvP with him. It's like calling in a tactical nuke on one soldier with an M4 with nothing on it. Oh no! <laughs> Transformers, but the Autobots die. <laughs> the Autobots are dead. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Megatron, his last dying words are just why. <laughs> and then he just dies because Trypticon sits on him. <laughs> Transformers, but everyone is dead. <laughs> I wanna see... Like, this weird alternate universe. This just randomly popped in my head. I want to see this weird alternate universe, or, like, this comedy comic book, where um, they change up the origins of the Dinobots to where Grimlock is Trypticon's son. Oh, no. And it's just a tiny... It's just, and Trypticon is obviously, like, downscaled, but he's still taller than Grimlock. And so it's just two robot dinosaurs trying to play catch with their tiny arms. Catch, Wait, the, I, <laughs> catch the ball, son. I can't. Catch the ball, son. Me, Grimlock, can't. Son, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me, Grimlock, have tiny arm. Grimlock <laughs> asked what happened to him as a child. <laughs> son, listen. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> son, listen. <laughs> I sneezed. And you just... You, oh. And you just slipped. No, I, got, I got it. I got it. So, Trypticon and Grimlock's mother have really long arms, and then Grimlock just has tiny arms. And he's just like, Dad, what happened? He's like, Honestly, I have no idea. And then it pans over to the neighbor who has short arms. <laughs> Hang on, there was one thing that I saw earlier. <laughs> I shouldn't make fun of that. That's messed up. <laughs> I'm keeping that in, though. <laughs> I think the only thing I'm gonna cut out is the long pauses. Yeah. There's one thing that I saw, and I absolutely love it. Okay. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I want to see Devastator with a large body and short limbs. Oh god. Did you send it in Discord? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. 
<laughs> that feels like something Grimlock would do. Me, Grimlock, give Optimus ride. <laughs> Me, Grimlock, no give Prime Pony ride. I love how we were supposed to talk about video games, but now it's just random stuff, and I'm actually just going to keep it as talking about random stuff. Because I like that a lot. It's the title of the podcast. Yeah, just talking about with video pal. games, but then drifting off to nonsense land. It's just a chat with a pal. Because <laughs> why not, right? What most podcasts are, a lot of them aren't just one subject. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find more stupid things of uh, Grimlock. No. <laughs> I typed in Grimlock dum dum. I wanted to see what popped up. Oh no. I don't know if I want to oh. know. <laughs> oh no. Do I want to know? Yes. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Professor Grimlock. <laughs> Professor Grimlock. <laughs> Me, Grimlock, teach calculus. <laughs> when Grimlock has that New Jersey accent. <laughs> Me, Grimlock, have PhD in kick butt. <laughs> this image of Grimlock just standing up is cursed. Like, I'm a dinosaur nerd, but when I see this type of stuff, it's cursed. Oh, they don't have it. <laughs> oh, did you send it? Yeah, I did. Oh, why is that? How is that cursed? I don't know, it's cursed. To me. A little bit. Somebody needs to add in, like, some sort of speech bubble. Hang on, I got it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, no. I don't like this one's hands. It's gross. Have you ever seen uh, Angry Birds Transformers? Yes, and I will not. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. I am. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Angry Birds Grimlock. <laughs> Me, Grimlock, <I'm> now Bird. <laughs> hey, uh. It's just him, Bird. Oh. Male Grimlock. I don't like female Grimlock. I don't like that. I, I, I slightly like female Grimlock, but I don't know what she's like. <laughs> is she, like, it more intelligent, or is she the same, just <laughs> Me, Grimlock? I think it's the same personality. Just with a female voice. What would her name even be? Grimlocka? No. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. That's a very good question. This actually... This actually... I agree with this, with Transformers. Mass shifting, mass shifting is kind of dumb. <laughs> mass shifting is dumb. <laughs> it is. It is dumb. It's so dumb. Like, Megatron turning in. You see Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, biggest boy of them all. And then he he turns into small gun. Exactly. I'm just sitting there like. But, uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> like, I would have preferred it if you turned into, like, a tank or something. Let, let me look this up. Thank you, Google. Oh, I found it! Yes. I found the thing. It's the thing. Oh, there's multiple! Oh, no. I found so many cursed images, I don't like it. I hope I can, like, copy and paste this as the GIF. I think if you save the image, oh. it will. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to save it. Yeah, I tried copying and pasting, it just 
does the one still frame. But I found, found so many cursed Transformers images. I don't want to know. <laughs> you do want to know. No, I don't. No. I hope. Oh, yep, yeah, this is going up as the GIF. Yes, this I have to. <laughs> is this a GIF of Optimus transforming? Where did his head go? I don't know. Places. Where did the gorilla head go? I don't know. Places. I have, I'm scared. I have more. Oh, oh no. this is circulating Dinobot. Oh, nope, there's- okay, that's cursed. So, I actually did this as- hang on, I'm gonna send this. I actually did this as a child to some of my Transformers toy- Uh, dang- what the heck do you mean it's over 200? Okay, there we go. Alright, so I kinda did this as a kid, <laughs> where I wanted there to be a third transformation. Mm hmm <laughs> so... Oh no! <laughs> Dude, the gif of Dinobot transforming is really cursed. His gif is literally him- Oh my god! It's, just, it's basically body horror, and then there's Megatron. Megatron actually makes sense. Yeah, his transformation was cool. Dinobot is the his, one. He's just it just and, disappears. It all oh, his head comes off of his body. He's a parts former. He is a parts former. Oh no! Optimus Prime. His head. He literally just. <laughs> yeah, his head just goes down into his chest. <laughs> his his gorilla head no clips into <laughs> his chest. <laughs> At least Megatron's kind of makes sense. Yeah. Like, at least they actually took into consideration not having his dino head, like, detached from his body and all that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate this. I hate this image. Oh, no. No. What did you do? Oh, oh God, no. Oh, no. <laughs> No, I don't like it. The third transformation. Make it stop. <laughs> right, before it gets any worse, that's gonna be it for the podcast, I guess. Wait, there's one more. Oh, one more no, I don't image like that it. The podcast will remember. I don't like it already. This is the new. <laughs> You what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Can I say I don't want to save this? <laughs> yes. No, that's gonna be the back right. for my phone. That's that's horrific. All right, we're gonna keep that up. All right, thanks y'all for watching this horrible podcast. This is gonna be a lot of editing because it's an hour long, but okay. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and putting up for this. I will see you all next time. Love you. Goodbye. Bye bye.